Hello everybody, it's Jess here with West Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to another daily vlog. I am sorry, I have not posted a video in several days. I really thought I would get back in gear this week. However, life. <laughs> so I, I don't know, the last few days I've just not felt great. I had a really bad headache all day yesterday and we had church and things were just kind of crazy. So I thought I would do a daily vlog today for you guys because it's been a little while and honestly, I don't know. I just, I don't even know what kind of videos to film. Um, and the daily vlogs are always fun and easy to film. <laughs> I need to do some sit down videos, but as I was thinking about them, I'm like, what can I talk about? I don't know. Um, I don't have any empties to do. Yeah, so things that, <laughs> maybe I can do a weekly pregnancy update in another week or two, but there's not much that has changed since I talked to you guys the last time about it. I am 18 weeks today. That is insane. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Baby is doing great and he's growing. I'm feeling a lot better nausea wise, um, but I think like the allergies in the air, um, the seasonal allergies kind of made me not feel great and um, maybe hormone levels too. I just had a really bad headache yesterday and I woke up with it. If I ever wake up with a headache, you can forget it going away, especially since I could only take Tylenol and I can't take Excedrin or anything being pregnant. So it was a really rough day, but I woke up feeling good this morning. Yesterday I laid in bed all day, which I felt kind of guilty about, but you know, I could not help it. I was hurting so bad. So today I got up, you know, the kids ready for school. They had school pictures today. So I wanted them to look really nice. I should have got a picture of them before they left. Um, but also another reason why I haven't filmed is Nate was up Tuesday night, all night. Like we put him to bed. We did our jewelry show. Um, David heard him around two and we're not sure how long he was up because a lot of times he just gets up and plays or reads his books or whatever and so it took us a good few hours to get him back down and I'm not a hundred percent sure he ever actually went to sleep because he got up before six it was just really rough and then he was so tired yesterday because of that and we were up late because of church so I'm hoping today will be a little more normal day for him Anyway, they're headed off for school pictures. The company they use is awesome with Nate, so I'm really hoping they get some amazing pictures of him. And um, I'm really hoping that they, I'm really trying to look in the lens and not the view, the uh, display, but it's really, really hard. <laughs> I guess I'm out of practice. I feel like I'm always looking in the wrong spot. Um, so hopefully they'll get me a good picture. And so I got up, I got them ready for school. I laid down for like 30 minutes, which is awesome because uh, it's really hard to get up after they go back to school. I just want to lay back down, but I, I just laid down long enough. I didn't even really lay down. I just sat on the bed and, and checked my email and um, watched a YouTube video and <laughs> posted on Facebook. And um, I got up, I got a shower. That's why my hair is all wet. Actually, I got a bath. And I cleaned our bathroom, which I need to do the other bathroom, especially the kids, uh, Nate's bathroom is the one they use a lot. So I need to do that. I got the dishes done and I need to just do like a tidy up. It's not bad messy. It's just things are out. So I need to do that. I'll feel better once it's done. And I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I don't really have a lot of plans. I'm sure I'll find something to do. <laughs> I thought I could hang out with you guys. It would make the time go by a lot faster. Although it's not that I want the time to go by faster. I love having these, these days where I can kind of focus on what I want to do and the kids are at school having fun and I can kind of get the housework done so that when they get home, it's all done and we can all relax. We are having a jewelry show tonight, so I need to get in our jewelry room and uh, restock a little bit and we sold over 50 pieces on Tuesday, which is awesome. And um, it's just been such a blessing. Like I had a bill unexpectedly come in for something that I thought was covered by insurance, but it wasn't. And I was able to just go ahead and pay it based off of our sales, which is just a blessing. I wish it was more fun. Like I was able to buy a 
I don't know, something fun or even put that money into savings, but at least it had the money to pay for it. So it is a blessing. The baby bump is huge. I'll have to show you guys. This shirt I'm wearing, I got from Motherhood Maternity online and I absolutely love it. I wish they had more prints, which at least when I was looking, they really didn't um, in this style. But I love this shirt, but it's very form fitting. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, it's growing so much. Oh my gosh. But it's now the time. Although I was looking at pictures because I was starting to feel really bad that my stomach was so big and I was only, you know, 17 weeks, now 18. So I started looking at pictures of other women when they were 17 or 18 weeks. And a lot of them look really small, which I guess is like a first baby. I, I know at 17 weeks, I but my belly was very small with Nate. But a lot of them also had very large <laughs> round bellies. So I guess, you know... Your body, when you have a third baby, just, it knows what to do and it just goes back out, you know, but that's okay. That's okay. Being pregnant is so much fun. I actually have always loved being pregnant. Um, I mean, the, the being sick part's no fun, but usually I feel really good after the first trimester, knock on wood, <laughs> knock on wood really hard, but um, I really love like feeling the baby move and, um, having the maternity clothes and the belly and I just love all of it and I always have a lot of energy and I don't know like I just feel really good about myself when I'm pregnant and I honestly I mean towards the end I'm ready for it to be over because you just get so miserable but I honestly when the baby's born miss being pregnant so I'm really trying to like soak up all of the experience this time because I know this is our last baby and I won't be pregnant again so I'm trying to really like embrace it and you know Dave and I are getting ready I've had a lot of you message me about things to do in Gatlinburg actually I thought we were staying in Pigeon Forge but we're actually more in the Gatlinburg side which is like right there together and um, we're leaving in a couple weeks for that a lot of people are messaging me things to do we are going without the kids so a lot of people are confused about that and telling us things to do with the kids no we're going without the kids it's our 10-year anniversary trip it's only a couple days and um it's also our baby moon I guess so I'm sure it'll be a while before we get to go back out on another trip by ourselves so <laughs> anyway if you guys have anything else fun to do in Gatlinburg I love just like walking around the shops and eating the good food and just relaxing I'm sure that's what we'll do because we've been so busy this season has been so busy so Anyway, I'm going to get some housework done. Layla's over here asleep. She makes me look, she makes me feel so lazy because she just lays around and she, she just sleeps. But anyway, I'll show you the baby bump in a minute. We'll get some housework done. When I have lunch, I'll show you what that is. For breakfast, I had my standard. Y'all know. The sausage, egg, and cheese hot pocket. David accidentally ate one of mine yesterday and I about killed him. Not really. I was like, you ate my hot pocket. He's like, I'm sorry. I thought it was the bacon ones. He's trying to eat the bacon ones up because I accidentally bought those this week and I hate them so much. <laughs> so he's like, I'll get you more. I promise. That is like the one thing in the morning that I can eat. I've tried like buying other things. Try, I bought oatmeal. I just have not felt like eating it. Um, the only thing that sounds good are those hot pockets. It's so weird. <laughs> Maybe like um, in a little bit, I'll have a, a different you know, it's not even a craving. It's just like the only thing that I feel like I can eat in the morning without being sick is right when I wake up, I have like a little bit, I always kind of get like that though. Like I feel a little bit nauseous in the morning and eating something usually helps kind of settle it down, but it's even more heightened being pregnant. And I guess if it too, like it's so fast, I can just stick it in the microwave. And anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I've been talking for like nine minutes now and I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. That would be kind of long. So, all right, I'm going to get some housework done. I'll check in with you guys periodically, show you the baby bump because I, I just showed you the other day, but I feel like even more it's sticking out today. I'll show you Layla. I'll show you all the stuff I get done next. Fly by when you're not looking Don't wanna waste it I 
show you everything I did because I did clean the bathrooms but it took me like an hour and now I'm like done and everything's clean I'm still working on laundry but I really need to get myself together at one at some point but I'm just letting my hair air dry I hate blowing my hair dry <laughs> I will do it because I love the way it looks when it's blown dry but it takes forever because my hair is so thick and especially right now, I get so hot. I'm just letting it air dry. Um, it's 10.30 right now. I'm thinking about running to the store. We need milk. We're running low. If I don't get it today, I'll know I'll have to get it tomorrow. Layla. And I don't want to have to get it tomorrow. Layla, Layla loves living on the ground floor because she loves barking at every single person that walks by. I think she stays up there and waits for David because once he gets home, she doesn't go up there the rest of the time. But... Did I see her? Right there. Also, I've been watching, I guess I'm like the latest person to the party, but I've been watching, um, she's in her apron, Kimmy, and I haven't watched her. Everybody's been telling me that she's really good. I know like everybody watches her, and I don't know, I just never had started and sometimes it's hard for me to get started with the channel, and I'm kind of getting bored with some of my regular YouTube channels or a lot of people have stopped posting um, and I'm always looking for new just new stuff that maybe is interesting and anyway I was watching some of her lunch prep videos freezer meals and she was making bagel pizzas now I know people make bagel pizzas I've seen other people make bagel pizzas but hers looks so good and I kind of want to make some. I don't know if the kids will like them. They're so picky about pizza and like the bagels are kind of chewier. I know I would like them. So I may just do a few. I would have some mini pepperonis I need to use up. Lucy does not like them and I need to use them up. She used to like them. I think she likes the Kroger ones and I bought the Hormel. So that's all Walmart had. So she has regular size pepperoni now. So I need to use them up. So I thought I could go to Walmart and get the stuff for that and then I could have some for lunch. And if I feel like it, I could make extra for the freezer. If not, I could do that tomorrow. I'm not planning on going anywhere tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing um, mailing packaging from our jewelry show. So I think I'm gonna run to Walmart. Like I said, milk, let me face the light because I'm going dark. Milk, I need bagels, pizza sauce, and cheese. I may have some cheese, I need to look. Always could use more though. Uh, it never goes bad. If I buy a hundred bags, I don't think it'll go bad by the time we use it. And um, I'm gonna get some more of those hot pockets because David ate mine. He ate one, y'all. <laughs> he literally was like, "I am so sorry. I am so sorry." I'm like, "Okay, I'm I'm honestly not mad. I just want to know why you did it." <laughs> oh, y'all, pregnancy. I, I don't know. Uh, I. The other day, I accidentally bought the bacon ones you guys saw in my grocery haul, and I honestly cried because I wanted it so bad for breakfast and it wasn't here. That is ridiculous. I know that's ridiculous, but anyway, I'm going to run to Walmart, get the things, and I'll see you guys back.
right, you guys, I'm back. I've got some in the oven cooking, and these are the ones I went ahead and made to freeze. It's a little bit messy. I need to try to put the cheese back on. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and freeze these, and then um, I can package them up. And hopefully the kids will like them. I left a couple plain cheese. Maybe so Lucy will try them. I'm not sure if the kids are going to like them, but I know Dave and I are going to like them. And these will be great to have in the freezer. So I've got mine cooking. When they come out, I'll show you what they look like. And um, I am so hungry. My stomach is growling so loud. So I'm excited to eat. But I wanted to show you guys how they looked. They look really good. All right, you guys. So here's my lunch. I made a salad. It just has some cucumber and some croutons and some ranch. And then there are those yummy pizza bagels. I just had two right now. They're mini, so they're really small, but I think that'll be enough. I do have some extra if I still want another one. Um, and I thought I would save the rest to be able to heat up for David's lunches or something. And then, the, of course, the big tray is in the freezer. So anyway, I'm going to eat this and drink some water. And I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm done with lunch. Holy cow, that was so good. I don't know if it's just because like I've been wanting it and I finally got it. But it was so yummy. Those bagels were like really fresh. And so it was a million times better than like the frozen pizza bagel. <laughs> it was a million times better. I did get another one. And now I'm really probably too full. But it, it was so good. <laughs> so I saved the rest of them. I cooked an extra two. Uh, so David has two for tomorrow. I went ahead and hadn't had those. I went ahead and had those cooked. So he can just heat them up in the microwave. But... I should definitely make those. I was even thinking it would be really good to take to game on. We do like a game night once a, every few months at church. And that would be a really good that would be a really good thing to take for that. It would be really easy. <sighs> okay. It's 12.09. I am just going to wait and do my hair and makeup later. Uh, and just take a little rest because I've been going, going. I got the house clean. Bathroom's clean. I did that running around and made lunch and all that so I'm just gonna lay down for the next 30 45 minutes by the time that's over it's gonna be time to get up get ready get the kids so I'll check back in when they get when they get home hopefully they had a good picture day we won't get their pictures back for a couple weeks but hopefully they did good so yay I get to lay down all right I went and got the kids they're home from school and they're having some electronic time. They always want to kind of chill with a snack and some Kindle time when they get home. Um, cleaning up their lunches, their lunch boxes. Nate has not been eating good at lunch. I don't think his appetite has been very strong lately. And no matter what I put in his lunchbox, even like mac and cheese, um, the last few times it's come back, he hasn't even touched it. So I don't know. But he had a great day. All happy faces. And... He got his progress reports back today, all 100s. So proud of him. They really haven't had any tests yet, although he has a test we're studying for for next week. But I'm so proud of him. He's doing awesome, and Lucy had a great day. Hopefully the pictures went well. She came out and told me her bow, her bow broke. So I said, did this happen before or after your pictures? She said after, so hopefully we got a good picture. Anyway, I'm going to finish cleaning up. David's going to be home the next couple hours. We're going to get our jewelry room loaded for the show tonight. I still have to do my hair and makeup before all that, but I'm just going to wait to the, you know, like right before. And um, I had a nice little, about an hour where I laid down. I maybe dozed off for about 10 minutes of that, but it was a really nice being able to just relax a little bit. So kids are home. They're right. They're right there. I can't do this backwards. They're right there. <laughs> and they're chilling and they're having their snack and it feels so good to have the house clean. So good. I can just keep it up. Check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys. So it's three o'clock and I'm, my stomach is growling. So I'm going to have some yogurt and fruit. I wish I had some granola, but I don't. This is the best yogurt ever. It is the wee yogurt. It is a treat. It is like dessert. Um, but it's so good. So I'm going to have some of this. I guess I'm going to put it together with the fruit. Uh, like put it on top. The granola would have been a nice crunch, but this is just some cut up strawberries and about half of a banana. So here is my delicious snack and I've already got taco soup leftovers warming up. I don't know if David's going to want that because he had it for lunch, but 
If not, I have other stuff he can heat up for himself. And I'm going to have to get working on the kids' dinner. Nate, I told you guys he didn't eat much lunch, so he's been begging me for food all afternoon. He's already had Cheez-Its and a yogurt and a big cup of lemonade. So <laughs> I think we're going to have to have dinner sooner rather than later. But for now, to get me through till dinner, um, yogurt and fruit. I always have a buddy here when I have food. So anyway, um, I'm going to finish this out in the next clip or two so I can get this edited for you guys for tomorrow because I feel like so behind on YouTube. But anyway, I'll catch back up with you guys one more time. Look what this boy's doing, you guys. So I've been keeping all of his books under his bed and like alternating which ones I put out because he will dump these all on the floor. He found it. He's going through all of his books. Did you find all your books, buddy? He loves books so much. So hopefully, I think that's too heavy. He might not be able to dump that out. So it may be good. But which book are you reading? Are you reading, buddy? He likes his bookshelf, but it's not enough books. But this under the bed thing has been working out good. Now that he knows where it is, though. I need his Let's just see. <laughs> He's so happy. Are you happy? Hey, are you happy? How do you feel? How do you feel? Are you sitting on books? Oh my right, goodness. So it is now later on in the afternoon and I am going to put some clothes away, get dinner started. And once dinner gets started, it's going to be boom, boom, boom. The night's going to be over. It's time we feed the kids, eat ourselves, get the jewelry show ready, get ready for the jewelry show, put the kids to bed. We'll bathe them, then put them to bed. All that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and end this here because number one, I think this is getting very long. Number two, oh, I forgot about those pizza things. Let's check on those. Number two, uh, I need to edit this video before we get going on all the jewelry stuff tonight so that you guys will have a video tomorrow. Okay. They're nicely frozen. So I'm going to package them up like she did on her video. Like uh, Kimmy did. She like put them... Yeah, they look good. They're all nicely frozen. So I'm gonna package them in like three or four, I don't know if I have the big bags like she had. I'll just package them up in Ziploc bags and stick them in the freezer so that if we wanna pull out two or three or four, we can, holy cow, that pan is cold. Huh, okay. Okay, I'm already tired. It's not good, not good, I got a lot to do. So anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope you liked hanging out with us today, hanging out with me today. Um, give me some ideas of some videos I can shoot, especially ones I can shoot with the kids being at school. I don't know, my mind is just blank. I can't come up with anything. So let me know if there's something I could talk about that you miss or you want to see. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Bye.